Hey there, this is Martin, and welcome to my demo video for DealCount. In this video, I'm going to give you a full rundown of everything that you can do in DealCount, how you can use it in your business, whether you want to run special offers, do stuff for offline clients, or any number of other things. It really is a truly versatile app, and it does so much more than just deals, uh, although that is the main focus. So, DealCount started life as an app we built for our own use. I've used it on countless promotional campaigns, stuff for clients. Um, all kinds of different things and it's a really well established powerful app that has helped me a huge huge amount of my business so it's something that's going to be really cool for you to get your hands on so let's just take a run through the app and show you what everything uh, is how it works etc so once you log in you get a dashboard I guess it's a cloud based app all your campaigns are here in the dashboard um, your options are in the, on the left hand side so you can create a campaign create one from a template contact our support or watch the training so the main da dashboard then has the list of the campaign. So if you want to edit one, you just left click on it and just type change. It'll change the name. Um, you can see the data is created and then you can manage it. So you can edit it, you can clone it. You can get the links for publishing it. So that's going to be, you can copy a link to clipboard for the published URL. You can preview how it looks and you can copy the APN URL to clipboard. Now APN, don't worry about that. That's just a little thing that you paste in to make the live scarcity timer updates when there's a sale or a bonus is taken or something like that if you're using that function then the embed functions we've got a lot of different ways to embed this you can either just use the url of it hosted on our deal count platform you can get an embed code to embed it into an existing website or you can download a html file to upload on on your own hosting so lots of different ways that you can use this so before i dive into the actual editing of, of campaigns and how you set them up let me show you some examples just so you can see how versatile this is and i want to stress again this isn't just for making countdown timer type deals or scarcity deals there's so much more that you can do with this so first off here's a real campaign that i'm using for promotion now at the moment you can see it's sliding on the left this is deal count this is my affiliate link loaded the sales page and you can see here i've got it set up to show how many bonuses are left if someone buys a copy now, there'll be audio that will will play and tell people how many bonuses are left and how many are gone. And I'll show you that how that's set up in the preview. And um, we we'll go ahead and pick another one here. Different style box this time. It's showing you how many are left again. You see it animated into the page. Bonuses left, 98. And you should have heard the audio there saying there are bonuses left, 98. It's read out what's here in the box. So that's a cool one. Um, next one is an exit intent campaign. So we've loaded up a sales page for. Again, I've got the DealCount sales page. And someone goes to leave, and it does this. So that's basically, that's the DealCount app acting now as a complete exit pop-up system. And this can be completely customized. Everything you see, including the size and everything, it can all be customized. So let's check a new one. This is a basic demo, and you'll see this more in a minute when I go into the templates, but a little box down the side here. So we've got our bonuses. bonuses You would have heard the audio there and this one also has a countdown timer and i'm going to show you that in a second what it does um next one it's like a little small subtle effect you see the red one down here saying 100 available 100 left again it's a demo one so it's not plugged into a real uh countdown timer next one here is a scarcity bar style so look at the top of the screen this time you see the green bar come in again it's got the, the number of, of available and the number left and i just put this on our user sales page um, another one is a very subtle box in the bottom in a similar style to the, the Proof app. And you see it down the bottom here. Only 98 left at this price. Only 98 left at this price, it said. And hopefully you're getting an idea here. There's so many different uh, ways you can use this. You can use it for those kind of campaigns or stuff for offline businesses. Here's one for I was making for a nightclub. So it, would go, it loads up the uh, nightclub website. So I've set this up here to be for just a, a nightclub in LA. Now... A good way to use it now, I've set it up to an exit pop-up, someone goes to leave and you see the exit pop-up appears. All this content is added inside the editor for deal count. Now I've set it up to be, it's like a, a contest to enter and then they can click here and they go to whatever page. Now the, the page this takes them to isn't part of the app but it's just it's set up to be a call to action. So that's one for offline business. Here's one now for a restaurant. Now just in case you're thinking, oh I'm not, a, I'm not an online marketer, I don't have offers or bonuses and things like that. Doesn't matter, anything you sell online, you can plug it in to deal count and there's something you can do with it. So this one is an exit pop-up, we go to leave. Uh, again, it's a similar kind of style. This one is for encouraging people to order online and we link this up to the online ordering form. 
and the last demo I'm going to show you here now is a similar one for a restaurant only it's a more subtle one on the bottom corner and stays there on the page so what you can do with DealCount is you can add these campaigns on any website even websites you don't own and this is a great way to get clients because what you can do is you can just go and find clients go on Google places and type restaurant in LA or whatever find someone who doesn't have a strong call to action or some kind of a list building thing on their page or a special offer and just make a demo campaign then you can contact that person and you can become a client so there's so many more ways to use this than just plugging in your your sales stuff and using it for special sales and things so that's just some of the demos i'm going to go into the app now and show you how it all comes together and how easy it is to do all this so we go back into the app dashboard now and let's see how we can create some of this stuff ourselves so your options are to start from a blank campaign or create from templates so we're going to the templates and now depending on what version or what what license level you got you're going to see different templates in here so don't worry about the screenshot this is just a demo you will have a certain number of templates in your account so i'm going to pick one of these a demo and you can see there's all different shapes and sizes and different uh, users for this including some kind of funky ones here now the bottom we've added like round ones and things like that so let's pick this one as your template create from template now so this adds it to the top it's going to call it live demo and i'm going to go in now and click edit so you can see how it's set up first thing you do is give it a name next thing is you set up a target url so i'm just going to give it our deal count url now you set up the overlay settings so what size do you want it to be do you want it to be 100 uh do you want it to be pixels do you want it to appear after a certain amount of time or whatever so i'm going to set this one to be the bottom left and let's leave the default width you can add margins you can add rounded corners so we've set this one to be 100 percent rounded in each corner so that makes it into a perfect circle which is a really cool effect next you set up your colors and your styles it's just a matter of clicking here choosing the options um very cool one as well we've got a built-in image library and again there's different numbers of images you get in here depending on the type of account you have but it's simply you click select image and you choose the one you want to use loads up the images and you just pick one and that's your that's going to be your background you can also use any url here or if you're a customer of usine and use the usine app you can directly add your usine images next up is the content settings and there's lots of this is where there's a lot of a lot of real flexibility you can set up a deal coin campaign to be dynamic content where it's plugged into a live sales event so let's say you want to sell 100 tickets for something you set total for sale 100 you plug in one url to your actual sales platform whether that be jvzoo or whatever and then it's all going to be automatic and if someone is on the page while the sale happens the audio is going to play and the number is going to count down so i'm going to simulate that now on this one here so we go down to our next option we set up our event that you want to happen once it expires so if they all sells out you can make it say redirect to another url or you can make it hide so if you make it redirect to another url you can make it go to another deal count campaign and then in that way you're chaining it with like evergreen offer so it can be an, an evergreen offer that keeps going um, for the sound ops and then you can make it play a sound notification from the library so we've got all these different sound effects here again different numbers should you hear that different numbers depending on which plan you have or you can make it read out some custom speech now this is pretty cool so we make the custom speech here it says whatever you type in here you pick the voice type then you can click preview so there's placeholders here it says how many are how many of the total bonuses are how many are left how many are gone all this kind of stuff you can just add in this little bit of code it'll do it for you i'll show you this now in the preview so we'll just edit this to say there's let's say 100 bonuses available and how many left we'll say so there's 80 left so we'll just change this to simulate to say 80 i'll show you this in the demo now this is where you add your content so you can go down you can add all your fonts and everything in here or if you want to do some of the advanced stuff that i showed you a minute ago you can just click into the code mode and just paste in any html in here you can also add your own javascript and your own custom style sheets as well down down the bottom here if you want to uh, get more advanced so that's the, the this is going to appear as the round one that i was showing you you can add a custom logo you can add it from a url if you don't want to upload it you set the size the padding and then next one is the special display option now again this may or may not be in your account if you get the if you upgrade you can get the exit uh, pop-up so if you see it in your account you know it's you've got the upgrade 
So you just pick this and then it will appear when someone tries to leave the page. Next thing, some settings for your payment processor. You don't need to worry about that now. And next one is to activate the countdown. So if you want to not only have the actual units available for uh, for the countdown, you can also sell it to be time based. And you can set up a countdown timer here. You can pick all the colors for the timer, style it all here, and you can set an event for something to happen when the timer reaches zero. So I'm going to turn this one off because you don't need to see that to get the idea of the timer. And you can add your scripts here. A very cool one here we've built in is you can set up retargeting code. So if you use DateCount to send people to an affiliate offer or some external website, you can add your Facebook retargeting code, which will then let you have a custom audience in Facebook so you can serve up Facebook ads to those people. So now we give a campaign URL here. This is one of the publishing options. You can use our own server here with the URL or you can publish it yourself and add it to your own website. So let's go with this one. Save it and now we're gonna click and preview. So when you get the preview page, you can see what it looks like down here, but I'm gonna show you it on the actual page that uh, I put it on here. So I've added it as an overlay on our own deal count site. So I'm just gonna refresh this so you can hear the audio. 100 bonuses available, 80 left. So it said 100 bonuses available, 80 left. Now if I just simulate, you can simulate a sale and test it with the, that test page. So if I go, and, I'll see it off screen here. If I go and click to simulate a sale now, I haven't reloaded this page. You notice I haven't reloaded the page here. I haven't done anything. And this is what would happen now if there's going to be a real sale. 100 bonuses available. 79 left. So you can see it counted down and it showed 79. Now it's gone back to 80 because that was just a test. It wasn't a real sale. So that's an example of the real-time scarcity in action in deal count. This is a very advanced piece of technology with loads of different custom voices. I just have set it to UK female English voice. You can set it to US all kinds of different languages you'll see them all in your account so if we go back in now to edit here I'll go back down to where we were this is where you can choose your languages there'll be a different number of languages in here depending on your account type and you can set that up and that's pretty much it the options for the different types of campaign are, are pretty much endless if we just go into create from template again you'll see loads of different varieties here um, loads of different ways to use this you can set it up to do things like uh, you know, full columns, full full height at the top. So if I wanted to go to one of my existing campaigns that I was making, so let's say we go to uh, this one, the big impact box one, so we edit that. And you can see here what it looks like. Animates onto the page is this small box on the right. Say if I wanted to completely change, change this now, I could make it be 100% of the screen width. And I can make it, instead of sliding from the left, I can make it... Uh, we make it rotate in or something like that. Some of these are a bit funky, but we'll, we'll do it anyway to show you. We'll rotate down left, we click Save Changes, click Preview again, and see what happens that time. So really very easy to change the entire function. If we want to make this a full screen exit pop-up now, all we simply do is go and pick 100% for the height. And we change this option to exit pop-up if you have the exit pop-up in your account, that is. And we go and refresh. So the page is fine, we'll leave. And it slides. That tells you how many bonuses are left. So that's a quick overview of just some of the stuff you can do with deal count. It gives you everything you need to create all kinds of scarcity campaigns, deal campaigns, exit pop-ups, um, any type of marketing that you want to do. Really, you can plug it into this app because you get a full HTML editor here. It's not just restricted to you know the de deal stuff with the countdowns. That is one key function. It's a pretty cool one, but it isn't restricted only to that. So really powerful app we've been using for a long time in our own business and we're very proud and happy to open it up to our own customers so it can help you in your business as much as it has helped us so that's it thanks for watching the demo and best of luck with your campaigns